My name is Steve Winnick. I am, yay, thank you. <laughs> and I'm, I'm here to introduce the person who will introduce Jake Blunt, but before we get to that, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to say. Starting out uh, wearing my hat as a folklife specialist here at the American Folklife Center of the Library of Congress. So uh, I'm welcoming you on behalf of the library. And I'm also apologizing to you on behalf of the library, especially those of you who are in the overflow room. So um, as some of you may have heard, others of you probably not, um, over the holidays we had a flood in our Coolidge Auditorium from the sprinkler system. Um, and so it's under repair for several months. When we had originally planned this concert, we planned for it to be in there. And since it can't be in there, the library ve very generously allowed us to use this beautiful room, the members room, and uh, LJ119 on the other side of the building, another beautiful room uh, for the concert itself and the overflow video room. So those of you who are in the video room, we apologize that we're not in the auditorium where everyone could have uh, been seated, but we didn't have much control over that situation. It just was something that happened. So we apologize for that. Um, and moving on, I will say that this concert is actually a co-production of the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress in our homegrown concert series, the first concert in our 2023 homegrown concert series, and the Folklore Society of Greater Washington. Um, and so in addition to working here at the Library of Congress, I am also the programming chair of the Folklore Society of Greater Washington. Um, and that was one of the reasons for this collaboration. But I will say that we have uh, some folks in the audience that we would like to recognize um, it from, from the society, but also just in general, um, people who are mentors of, of Jake's, uh, for example, uh, Kathy Fink is here in the front, and Be Betty Scott from Strathmore is here, and most importantly, Jake's parents are here because Jake is a Washington, D.C. native. And that played into our uh, ability to get him to do this concert because we were discussing ideas. Charlie Pilzer is the president of the Folklore Society of Greater Washington, and his wife Cecily is here with him as well. And we were, we were all sitting around discussing ideas um, about what to present this year. And um, it turns out that Cecily Pilzer was the librarian at uh, Jake Blunt's kindergarten school. <laughs> So we have, we have a wonderful uh, connection through library things, no less, um, to Jake Blunt. So um, the Folklore Society of Greater Washington is a membership organization that supports uh, the folk arts in the Washington, D.C. area. That includes music, it includes dance, and it includes storytelling and other folklore-related activities. And we really would love for you to check out our website at fsgw.org. That's fsgw.org. And it has a schedule with all of our events, a lot of dances right now, and also great concerts and storytelling events. So please uh, visit the Folklore Society of Greater Washington. Get to know us. We would love to have you come to our events and maybe even become members. And now that I've said that, it's time for me to introduce uh, my wonderful boss, whose name is Nicole Saylor, who is the director of the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress, and she's going to introduce us to Jake Blunt. Hello, everyone. Ooh. Hello. Hello, OK. So I want to get to the music, so I will try to make this biffy. Um, as Steve said, I'm Nicole Saylor. I am the director of the American Folklife Center here at the Library of Congress. Uh, on behalf of our entire staff, I want to welcome you to this special concert. Uh, and I want to let you know that this is part of our African American History Month at the library, as well as uh, the American Folklife Center's homegrown concert series kickoff. So the American Folklife Center was created by the US Congress to preserve and present traditional folklife through research documentation, archival preservation, reference services, and live performances here at the library. The center was established in 76, but our archives has been at the library far longer. It was created in 1928. So on December 20th, 1940, 
the archives sponsored a concert of African American blues and spirituals by Josh White and the Golden Gate Quartet, which is considered the first concert, uh, the first folk life concert at, at the Library of Congress. So Jake's concert tonight marks over, seven, uh, over 80 years, thank you, of uh, presenting African American traditional music right here at the Jefferson Building at the library. Our archives have grown uh, since those days as well. Uh, it's now one of the largest uh, archives of ethnographic materials from the United States and around the world with about seven million items of ethnographic and historic documentation. Uh, among the collections are many treasures of African American culture, including blues, string band music, fiddle tunes, spirituals. Some of the materials Jake is so great at bringing to life. So let me introduce to you Jake Blunt. A talented musician and eloquent speaker, as well as a DC native, Jake Blunt speaks ardently about the African roots of the banjo and the subtle yet profound ways African Americans have shaped and defined roots music and Americana. His high his highlights uh, of the black and indigenous histories of popular um, American folk tunes are well known. About half of the songs in his most recent album, The New Faith, were sourced from field recordings in our collection at the American Folklife Center archive here at the library. Those songs are uh, spiritual music filled with hope for salvation and righteous anger in equal measure. They are songs of resilience of the ancestors who endured slavery, Jim Crow, police brutality, the impacts uh, that, the, that the pandemic has had disproportionately affecting communities of color. Of course, Jake also performs other music, um, fiddle and banjo tunes and old time songs of all kinds. Right on. Uh, <laughs> AFC is therefore thrilled, is therefore thrilled to work with other library offices and with the Folklore Society of Greater Washington to bring both Jake Blunt and his songs, home to the library. Thank you. Please help me welcome. Almost barefooted as we be. 
exposed to snow
Black Future Month.
drive you from door to door. As this show is being recorded for posterity, I expect everyone's heckling game to be on point tonight. <laughs> Don't let the children of the future think I was cool. I dream of a future where banjo players are cool. <laughs> Um, 
living in the black fantastic. Well, that last song was one from Skip James. It's called Hard Times Killing Floor Blues. If I was a real blues man, I probably would have found a way to add a verse about like egg prices or Chinese balloons or something, but um, we all know. We all know what's going on.
find that song out of an old print collection uh, published by John and Alan Lomax. Uh, so I'm sure the original recording is in this building somewhere. Is it? It is. <laughs> and it's a, a special one to me because uh, one of the things that's kind of exhausting about playing all this old music that, that people don't tend to know comes out of black communities unless you have uh, come to the concert because you saw a poster that says that. Um, I wind up having to explain to people why the music should matter a lot, um, which doesn't feel like it should have to be that way, um, but it is. And uh, it's always exciting when I go somewhere and play some music that I found in some old collection and somebody knows it already. And that was the first one that I learned in an old collection and went down and played it for my grandparents and they knew the song already, um, which was very sweet. Um, it was, I think, my grandmother's favorite thing that I ever played. Um, and she passed last June, but the last time I saw her, um, I played that for her and she couldn't even talk. <laughs> and she had dementia and she came back. And she was dancing in her bed and singing, he can do it, he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's for Grand Grand every time. Sang it better then than I did at her funeral, that's for sure. I still owe Aunt Kanye a favor for just clapping over me the whole time. She was. <laughs> She knew what was needed. <laughs> Here's one I haven't played for a while, but I remembered the other day. And I really like it. It's a, a very common fiddle tune called Billy in the Low Ground. And this particular version comes from Cooge Bertram, who's from Fentress County, Tennessee. <laughs>
playing a lot and not talking a lot because I've talked a lot today already. Um, Steve and I talked for a long time before we did this and I woke up this morning and I went and uh, got interviewed by Mark Lamont Hill for Al Jazeera, which was very cool. Um, very strange that I come back to my hometown and see these sides of it that I have never seen before. These are not the rooms that we regular folk wind up inside uh, all too often. Not that people shouldn't have nice things, but I find it funny that uh, my taxes earn me potholes and earn them this. <laughs> Good on you, Congress. Enjoy your health care. The rest of us can dream. This is like a theme for me, is that I take the government's money to come do something and then talk trash about the government the whole time. <laughs> it's exactly, exactly. I got hired by the post office to do something last summer, and uh, I have a lot of opinions about Louis DeJoy. And uh, they did come out. I have not been asked back. Thank you. 
Can someone affiliated with this institution tell me how long I have left? <laughs> I'm in a total time warp up here. I don't know what's going on. Nobody? Nobody? I'll just, I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going. recent album, The New Faith, which came out on Smithsonian Folkways recordings back in September. <laughs> this is one from Fannie Lou Hamer. It's called City Called Heaven. Thank you. 
fathers did walking in sin My brothers and sisters won't hold me Because I am trying to get in Sometimes I but tossed it and driven Sometimes I know not where to roam I've heard of a city called heaven I've started to make it my Sometimes I but tossed it and driven Sometimes I know not where to roam I've heard of a city called heaven I've started to make it Well, I will play you one more. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. <laughs> Definitely can say this is my first time playing here. Um, and it's also my first time having an overflow room. Um, <laughs> that's new for me. <laughs> Thank you to those of you watching on a distant screen. I love you. Um, and I will be back in the D.C. area to play at the Kennedy Center in April with my good friends Nick Garrison and Laurel Primo. So, if you enjoy dancing, if you enjoy electric guitar, if you enjoy fiddle, banjo, you should come. And if you don't, I don't know why you're here. This one makes a very good sing-along. I have a... Uh, been working with some good friends of mine who are in a band called the Vox Hunters up in Providence. Yeah! Two of the best folk musicians of my generation for sure. And um, we've been working on sea shanties.
that you didn't know black people sang sea shanties, but we did. So I'm going to play you one that I learned functionally in my sailboat era and then discovered that Lead Belly used to play it. It's called Holloway Joe. It has a very simple refrain that I invite you to sing along with. I'm not going to quiz you because you can handle it. Thank you all for coming.